Well, hello, my beautiful friends. Your boy Seth here, uh, taking a look at SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. Uh, huge shout outs to the publisher for providing us a copy of this for review to get to show you guys what this game is like. Uh, I feel like there's been some hype around this, especially, you know, there's a lot of love for kind of the uh, yeah, old school, like GameCube era, um, you know, SpongeBob platformers, Battle for Bikini Bottom and stuff like that. This definitely seems to be kind of in that vein. Um, so again, big shout outs to, um, to the publisher for letting us check this out. Honestly, like I have a lot of love for a good, you know, kind of like, you know, not, I don't, not every platformer needs to be Mario or whatever. You know, I like a good B grade platformer and look, those SpongeBob games are beloved. So honestly, let's just jump straight in. Don't really know what to expect. Feel like this game has been in the works for forever. There's a lot of hype. We're gonna see how the Switch version of the game runs, see how everything shakes out, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I feel like this could be a big deal for a lot of people. before he forgets what day it is or who I am so we have the the voice cast of course no 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 not you not today this day will be about relaxation and inspiration I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off I will spend it with the love of my life myself and my art of course sounds fun can I help for this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Uh, okay, say less. <laughs> we'll go away. Uh, alright, let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. What? Are, so I can jump. Doesn't look like I have any sort of attack or anything yet. I do have a double jump. There, oh, there's a little mantle. Power, or like some kid. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, so SpongeBob's got a little bit of like a mantle. Oh, there's a jellyfish. We don't want to get hit by that. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule. Well, okay. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. Dedicated to his job, as I'm always. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the chum bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the chum bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. <laughs> now I'm gonna be real with y'all. I have um oh how to jump. Okay, yep. So um I you know I, SpongeBob is a little. I'm not the SpongeBob generation, right? Like my my little brother and sister kind of grew up with SpongeBob. I was a little too old, I think. Um, I don't dislike it. I've seen, you know, some episodes of like the the show, like the old show, like when it first came out, you know, but I haven't really kept up with it or anything. I know the characters. SpongeBob! You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster. In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather 
rather seek the thrill of Tony, but if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. All right. Clean up around Sandy's tree dome. Let's do it. What is this? How to spin attack? Okay, this is I would. This is what I was curious about. How do I attack? Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? What are these kids doing up here? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So let's see. All right, we have cleaned up Sandy's yard. Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking. Patrick's alarm has gone off. So, in theory, I do like the detail of having the. Um, that's one thing I've always kind of liked about SpongeBob: the little squeaky noise when they walk. Ah, my beloved bikini bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe, home to my friends and memories. That little squeaky noise when he walks, like I, I like that for some reason. I like that it's transferred to the game, and I feel like visually, at least, you know, looks pretty good for what it is, right? Like, I mean, this is. I mean, if you just take a look at this, like, this to me looks like a Spongebob game. This is, I like how it kind of captures that, like, abstract, like, background a little bit. It's, it's pretty good to me. There's not, like, a lot going on in the environment or whatever, but I don't know that there needs to be. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Oh, gosh. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. No voice. An we need an eternity later. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little bit of a weird hitch there, but I was like, well, we need the voice. God, I hope this loading this load screen is not an eternity later. It is funny to put something like that on a loading screen though. A little bit of like self-awareness. I could do cool things. This wagon just Whoa. ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Mm, no, nah, still not cool enough. Huh? Oh, can I have this? What, this old piece of magic and mystery? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures. I don't remember this seas. character. I don't know if this character but is new to them. this game. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique. Another thing I should say, um, I'm playing this like a week before be. release, give Receive or take, a little over a week before release. So this is a pre release version of the game that we're seeing right now. So it is possible that there will be like a day one patch or something. So just, you know, be aware of that. An eternity later. <laughs> so far, the opening of the game is pretty straightforward. I wish. No. I wish. No. I wish. Oh, okay. My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> Isn't there a um too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? Isn't there like an episode of SpongeBob where there's like a sentient bubble or something? Giggling in my ear. I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Aw. Thanks, SpongeBob. It's kind of sweet. 
<laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Oh, God. Oh, God. People are just dying. What is happening? Hello? People are just vaporized. <laughs> are, are we going to talk about this? Those people just got Thanos snapped. I have no idea what's happening anymore. Look at this, Sandy's dome is all shattered. There's a manure truck <laughs> laid over. All right, now we're getting into it for real though. I see some collectibles. What have we done? <gasps> Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly I feel like like Patrick's what voice sounds like he's like um slowed down or something. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this. And this. See SpongeBob? <laughs> oh. I We need to find our friends and It's like um it's like the Patrick Star um slowed plus reverb remix. All right. So what's Squidward going on such here? An even tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. There's just like somebody's corpse hanging off of the side of Squidward's house. This isn't okay. <laughs> my, rock, my beautiful giant rock. All it's left are my Oh no. My giant sticky notes are gone too. Now, how am I going to remind myself to buy more giant sticky Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes... Alright. Let's... How to ground pound. Cool. Perfect. I like those little anime... I mean, it looks just like the show, right? Cool, cool, cool. Sticky sweet. Ouch. Looks pretty broken. What are we... I guess I wasn't even really paying that much <laughs> attention to what it was we were collecting. What are those? They're like little pink orange bubbles. Okay, I can't do that yet. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. A way to blame Sandy Sandy's right off the bat. The smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... Oh, yeah. oh, bubble soap. That must be what it is. This must be the soap from the, um... From the bubbles. That makes Weird. sense. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top hat still. I'm wondering what I can like spend some of the currency on. I'll be interested to know. I put my black belt to good use, and all this time I've been using it as a scarf. I feel like low key the um the sort of NPCs of SpongeBob have have always been like low key amazing. I remember there's always that guy after anything like calamitous happens that's just like my leg. <laughs> I do remember that. I always thought that was funny. All right, let's hit this button over here. Is there a sprint button? Kind of wish there's. I mean, he walks his his standard walk speed is kind of fast, but what is this? How to glide? A, and then you hold it, and he's got a little pizza box. All right, Breath of the Wild glider. Look at this. We got a Breath of the Wild glider, folks. All is right in the world. I do like that he's got a mantle. 
I think, whoa, hello, okay. So, fun note. You, you, if you let go, it does not look like, okay. I don't know, there's, there's a limited window, I guess. Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? <laughs> I need to fix this. What is this? Take your wobbly hand off of me. I'm too smart to end like this. Yep. I know we we've we've spun done a couple spin attacks, but I know how to spin attack. I got it. How to dodge? SpongeBob's got a dodge roll? <laughs> All right. Sure does. All right. You multicellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sucked into chaos. Correct. Oh no! Suck. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take- Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? In correct. You who? Well, there's the the mermaid. Um, look at those angry snails over there. My adorable cuties, you survived this calamity. No, Madam Cassandra, we were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom, and now all of our friends are- <laughs> Now, where is Gary? It's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. A cosmic jelly. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as mm -hmm. you can gather so I can study it, and- uh, Make sense to uh, no excellent now jump into the portals that opened up all over town I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic ah, costumes okay. for you, each linked to what I'm ready come on let's say bikini All right, so <laughs> jellies cosmic jelly unlocks find the costumes once you have okay, your friends, that you that will open up a portal into, I assume, you know, a level. So we're gonna Kingdom Hearts this stuff. Use the shop to equip and purchase SpongeBob's costumes. Unlock costumes by playing the story, collecting doubloons, and completing side quests. Use Cosmic Jelly to purchase unlock costumes. Cool. Oh. Some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I feel like the Switch version is running like just fine. Like it's not, you know. No, like, major issues. I'm sure it looks and runs better on other platforms, but I think it's it's fine here, you know. You guys look funny. Okay, so this dodge roll is kind of like th this. This could be an approximation of our sprint that we were kind of looking for. A little bit of like extra forward momentum. That feels pretty good to me. What, are, what is their deal right now? The way they're moving in tandem is, is upsetting. Anyways. Anyways, there is a portal. So let's just go straight into it. We can tell. Be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Let's do it. Travel to the new world. Let's see what's up with this cowboy world. Can I, like, move around? Oh, yeah, I sure can. Weird. Another thing worth noting, too, about this game, just before people kind of come in with, like, preconceived notions of it or, or whatever, the game's also not a full-priced release. 
This is a, I think, $39.99 release. So it's a budget title, right? And, you know, for what it is, I think, I think this game's gonna make some people happy. Strong feeling oh snap. Bottom Looks more like the Wild West. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get your juice. Hey, partner, I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Manta Fe. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, especially for like kids who are fans of the uh, of the show, I think this game's gonna be gonna be great. I think this is gonna be a big hit. With, like I could totally see myself uh, getting this for my nephews. And it does totally kind of feel like. Um, you know, one of those old, like, licensed games from this kind of mid-2000s era. Which I think is what it's going for, right? Like, they, um... It reminds me of, like, you know, the days of, like, The Simpsons hit and run. You know, like, this game kind of understands the assignment a little bit. What is what is up with this? Like, what's what's the point of doing that? What is this? You really are well... My best friend. <laughs> Is there a way of, like, destroying these that isn't dangerous? Ow, 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 ow. Sticky sweet. I don't want to, like, continually... There must be something I'm missing. Maybe there's a power or something that Spongebob can eventually get? I don't know. Anyways. Let me not... <laughs> let me not accidentally die. I like these rickety platforms that are just, like, held together by <laughs> some loose nails and a prayer. Huh? Manta Fey! SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small. We'll never fit in there. Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. Oh, snap. We're safe, Patrick. It's Mrs. Puff. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. I feel like the characters are pretty well animated too, Let's all things considered. Like to me, I feel like they've, you know, again, I'm not like a SpongeBob expert, but I feel like, I feel like they've captured the essence of the show pretty well here. Whoa, what's this? Looks like I can't take the path now. Come back later. I do like just encountering these little NPCs and they always have some kind of, like, wacky thing. I don't know, I like that. I don't know, like, what's the sign? Like, why a pizza box for a glider? I don't really get that. I think I, um... Maybe it's a reference to, uh... 
I'd seen somebody share a clip. I don't think I've actually seen this episode, but I think I've seen the clip of like the uh, the Krusty Krab pizza or whatever. Like SpongeBob's like singing about, and he's like taking it through like the desert or so. so maybe it's a reference to that. I don't know. Let's see. There's a little bit of like magnetism to pulling in the soap bubbles. It is kind of funny that the collectibles are just soap bubbles. Like that's kind of that's, that's just a funny concept. They're just like walking around collecting soap bubbles. I wonder it's I think it said I could access the shop from the pause menu. Yeah. Okay. Ah yes, the wacky child costume. And then some of these other ones here. This looks like it's kind of a fry cook. I think this is his normal Krusty Krab outfit. I think this is his like karate gear. Oh, look at this. There are a lot of costumes. Whoa, are these like all tied to various worlds? Or can each of these costumes sort of... Cause, see, this says campaign. So I'm assuming that each of these represent a world in the game. But then it's like two star, so maybe these are all just like optional costumes or costumes that you need for side quests. I don't know. Oh yes, this must be each world. So one, two, uh, so three, four, five, six, seven worlds, I guess. Cool. That seems fairly sizable. Again, we're talking about a $39.99 licensed, you know, collect-a-thon platformer, so to me that seems completely reasonable. Ah, oh, Mr. Krabs is wanted. The red-handed bandit. Wow. Oh, bubble button. Okay, see, this is what I needed to know earlier. The sort of projectile attack. Whoops. Keeps him stun locked for a pretty long time, actually. It's pretty useful. Yeah, look at this. Look at this little ranch. A little bad will do ya. Could use some health. I feel like I should have mantled onto that. Let's see. Really? Look at me go! I felt like I was practically touching that. Oh well. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess this makes a little more sense. Come on. Come back over this way. Come back down, buddy. I know I need to be doing something else right now, but I, I mean, y'all know if you've watched if you've watched this channel before, you know. I get distracted easily. Hey, there's a coin. Just look at that breathtaking pastoral landscape. The beauty of nature. Hey. You think they got vending machines here? Okay, the timing on this seems a little strange. Yeah, it's like pretty fun to just kind of, you know, run around and do these little tasks and collect these little bubbles and
Do I get... I was wondering if I maybe got more height if I, uh... Ground pounded off of the trampoline. Doesn't look like it. Look at these guys. Just guys being dudes. I want to ride that thing. Mario Odyssey style. Jaxi style. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You I've always liked... I don't know who does the voice of Mrs. Puff, but I've always liked her... Her, uh... Her voiceover I get actor. I just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for just the sort of like Mr. matronly Krabs, vibe. He, called Mr. Krabs. he could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy, or Petunia, or Captain Claus, or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. <laughs> However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Something he could never get, I don't think, in the real world. Me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fay. Gosh, I really like her, her voice actor. Who is it? It's impossible to know, I suppose. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess Mrs. that... Mrs. Uh, I'm Googling it right now on my phone. Before, Mrs. Puff, and, uh, voice actor. I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh... Mary Jo Catlett. Always liked her. So... Well done. Any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> a little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready? <laughs> Set? <laughs> All right, let's do this. We can jump and we have a boost. All right. Let's do this. Boost. I feel like I didn't get a lot of height there. You scored 35.7 points. Go around! I am going around. I haven't hit anything. Come on, Mrs. Puff. Give me a break, Mrs. Puff. Wait, what? Oh dear, you have six points. I feel like I did pretty <laughs> good. Seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Only one point away from passing! Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner! Oh, license! <laughs> hey, hold your horses! Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of. Oh gosh. Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. All right, well, we have our seahorse license, so does that mean that I can ride seahorses now? Yeehaw! We made it to Manta Fay, my floating friend. 
My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. I'm feeling better already. Whoa. Manta Fey looks like um, it takes place at a Six Flags. Oh gosh. Thank God for uh, like positional shadows, man. Nice. I love, one thing this game is good at, and I will say, and this isn't always the case. Okay, yeah, this is the Krusty Krab. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I understood that reference. Um, this isn't something you always see with platformers. Um, I like how it rewards you for exploring. You don't always see that. Like, sometimes, even with, like, higher budget, higher profile platformers than, you know, Spongebob, um, like, you'll go out of your way to do something and not be rewarded for it. Okay, I have a new tier. Okay. Oh, I see. So these are costumes that you can only unlock via the campaign, and then these are costumes that I can actually purchase. Spongebuck? Cuddly Bob? Boy Scout? And underwear. Oh gosh. I think I prefer my cowboy outfit to basically all of these. I don't know, Cuddly Bob is kind of a fit though. Boy oh boy. That's all right. I'll stick to what I have for right now. But I mean, yes, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's go talk to the sheriff. See who the sheriff is. I'm curious. Gotta be Sandy, right? Chef might be at the saloon if you're still. Of course. Nailed it. Look, it's Sandy. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. <laughs> Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie, but hey. If you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it zips straight. We're going to have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Jelly bandits. I've never seen a fish like this. <laughs> Holy cow, there's a lot of them. I'm playing Days Gone right now. What is this? Ain't you fuller of surprises than my socks after a sandstorm? Taking on them jelly bandits like that? Missed that. Throw me another one. Perfect. Doggone it! Easy. Ever since this red-handed bandits bandits took over our cactus farms, we've been running low. Any chance you can go up to Cactus Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? 
The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can I feel like we just did finish our duel. I totally destroyed you. I feel like we did finish our duel. I'm sorry that you are a sore loser. What is happening here? Are they twerking? Not uh, what I <laughs> what I expected. What's up here? These kids hiding in barrels. Get out of there. It's interesting that these things are um, used as platforms too. We did it. There's another thing over here. I wasn't paying attention to how much that uh, that got me, but whoa, that's cool. So you can you can do that out of a out of a dash. All right, we gotta find and collect more cactus juice. Uh oh, looks like it wants to duel. Oh snap! How to bubble throw? Yeah, yeah, we know how to do that. We're just doing it. Interestingly, you can't, like, you can't hit them, like, while they're bubbled. Maybe that kind of it's weird. Looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. <laughs> Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%? I'll tell you Relatable. what, find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them. Since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them cacteen hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of- Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. I mean, what is what is a cactus if not a thorny cucumber, right? They're they're honestly not not wrong about that. Uh, I don't want to go too too much further than this. Um, hopefully, this gives you guys a. Uh, a pretty solid idea of what this game is. Uh, Spongebob Squarepants the Cosmic Shake. You know, by my estimation, just sitting here playing the first, like, 45 minutes or so. This is just a fun, like, pretty well put together little collectathon 3D platformer. I think that if you are a Spongebob fan, you're gonna be all over this. Um, I, I feel like, you know, again, I'm not somebody who is, like, some dyed-in-the-wool huge fan of Spongebob or whatever, but, you know, it, it seems pretty good to me. Like, I, I've laughed a couple of times, a couple little chuckles. I think the writing is, like, pretty good. It oh seems really consistent with the show. Seems like most of, if not all of, the voice cast is here. Uh, I, I think that it's animated pretty well. I think it totally has, like, those vibes of the, you know, the, the, kind of classic, like, GameCube, PS2, Xbox era licensed, you know, platformers like this. Like, I think this game totally nails what it's going for. Um, and I like that they're taking this kind of approach to it with the different worlds and stuff. 
this sort of like, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts approach to going to different worlds and kind of, you know, having these fun little vignettes, like a Western vignette, that, that honestly, that like, that does make me want to continue playing the game and seeing what the rest of them are. And the Switch version, I feel like, runs fairly well. There have been a couple little hitches. Um, and, you know, it definitely has, it, it's not as tight as, like, a, a Mario Odyssey, but it's not trying to be either. Uh, again, this is uh, just a $39.99 kind of budget game. It's nothing like it's 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 really just fun. It's just fun, and like sometimes fun is enough. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be The Last of Us <laughs> or something. Um, you know, this uh, th this is just a fun kind of budget thing. I think it'll be perfect for kids, perfect for SpongeBob fans. Uh, should be a fun little romp, man. So thirty nine ninety nine. The game comes out, I believe, on January thirty first. Uh, so right there at the end of the month, I'll have a purchase link in the video description so that you can pick it up on the eShop if you'd like. And, um, I think totally recommendable. I think totally recommendable for, for a lot of people. I think it's going to make a lot of people pretty happy. Uh, so yeah, if you're, you know, wanting to play this, let me know if you've picked it up. Uh, let me know. Maybe I'll do some more you know, Spongebob Cosmic Shake related videos. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more myself. Um, you will hear us talk more about it on the podcast as well, all in a Nintendo podcast. So definitely check out the links in the video description, uh, to, to check that out. And if you want more Nintendo video content, you're already in the right place, all in here on YouTube. So hit that like and subscribe to see more stuff like this. And again, big thanks to the publisher for, for letting us check this out. It's been, it's been a treat. And uh, we're looking forward to playing more and talking about it more. So stay tuned for more SpongeBob Square Pat, uh, SquarePants the Cosmic Shake. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye-bye.